Does it make me an evil man to ask you why we are in Afghanistan? Tell me who the warmonger is. Me, for asking the question? Now I'm the evil man? I should be banned where now? Where should I be banned now because I'm asking why are we in Afghanistan? Tell me which country I should be banned from. Who's the warmonger? Gordon Brown or Michael Savage? Why are there British troops in Afghanistan? Why are the Brits sending their, their, their boys to die over there? What are they dying there for? The great Labour Party of England sending their troops to Afghanistan for what? Nobody even knows why we're there. Why are we there? I want to know the answer. Sanford, first of all, we're not going to win, I'll tell you right now. The British lost. The, do you remember the Soviet Union, what happened to them in Afghanistan? You don't remember that? You don't remember in the 70s we were supporting uh, the, um, I forget what they called them then. I don't even know what they called the freedom fighters of Afghanistan. Don't you remember? When they were fighting against the Soviets, they were called freedom fighters. Now that their sons are fighting our troops, they're not freedom fighters, they're terrorists. You don't remember we gave them Stinger missiles that wound up in New Jersey? You don't remember the U.S. military supplied Stinger missiles to the, what were they called then in the 70s? I forgot already. The Mujahideen. Their, their sons now are fighting the Americans. They're the same people. They haven't changed their philosophy. They don't want any foreigners telling them how to run their country. Uh, for better or for worse, it's their country. Why are we there? Why are we propping up a dictatorship? Why? I, I mean, why are the Marines being asked to die? Is it in our national interest in some way that I don't know about? I don't claim to be a military expert. and claim I, I claim to be a, a non-military expert. Or shall I say a military non-expert? So I'll, I'll turn it over to you liberals because you're, re you're an expert in everything. Why are our men dying there? Because Obama said they should? Why are we there? Why is Congress not sending out anti-war messages? Where are the code stinkos? Where are all of the anti-war uh, uh, people? Where is the no war for oil bumper sticker? Where are the no, no war bumper stickers I saw all over the Bay Area for so many years? Where are they? Huh? No answer? Ray in San Francisco, KNEW, go ahead, please. Thank you, Dr. Savage. Um, first, let me start by saying I was a sergeant of the Marines. Um, all right, so you know a lot more about, you know a lot more than I do about this. Do you think we're going to win there? Absolutely not. You can't win a war if you don't have an obtainable goal. You know, you're fighting a war on terrorism. Well, that's a nice pretense, but terrorism is always going to exist. It's like fighting a war on communism. How far did that get us in, you know, years ago? It's just not obtainable. I mean, if you're going to say take over a city, you can do that. That has a goal. If you're taking over this enigmous entity, yeah, I mean, there's a few targets here and there, but you're never going to eliminate it. So why are we there? Why are we continuing fighting? Are we just going to... Well, let me ask you, were you in Afghanistan? Were you in that, that theater of operation, Ray? Um, some of my colleagues were. I was fortunate enough to miss it. And All right. You know, uh, I mean, is I... there any grumbling? Is there any grumbling amongst the uh, troops? about the objectives and lack thereof in Afghanistan? Well, absolutely. I mean, you know, there's always going to be some good, some bad, but for the most part, nobody wants to be there. I mean, you know, you're away from your family and, you know, for what? You know? I don't know. I'm asking for what? I read the Marines are dying every day. Why are they dying? They're stepping on landmines. Their, their, their cars, are, their trucks are going over IEDs. You know, I think when we first got there, you know, they could see some reactions. They were getting cheered in the streets. But it hit a certain point, and that's all changed. And then we moved on to another target, and then another. And there doesn't seem to be an end in sight. And that's where, you know, the Marines are starting, you know, going to start questioning what they're doing. Jeez. What the hell are our men bleeding for? Why are they losing their legs and their lives for what? What? the hell are they doing in, in Afghanistan? For eight years they've been in Afghanistan. Why not pull them out? What are they doing there? The fact of the matter is we've been involved there for a long period of time. The U.S. strategy, which is to protect the population. What does that mean? Why? This war is 50% longer than the U.S. involvements in two world wars. Did you hear that? It is 50% longer than the combined U.S. involvement in two world wars. NATO, worthless. What's our strategy? Nothing. Taliban, they can come back anytime they want. They know in the long run we're going to be out of there. Nation building? Why? There's never been a nation there. What do you mean nation building? What nation? When was there ever a central government in Afghanistan? It's tribal. 
It's a tribal uh, region. So what in the hell are we doing there is the question. Or what the heck are we doing there is the question. Admiral Mullen speaks of combating uh, the culture of poverty. We have the money to conduct a war on poverty in Afghanistan when you got people starving to death in this country? How? Where's the money going to come from? Uh, they say U.S. forces are there to prevent reestablishment of al-Qaeda bases, even though there are none there now. So what in the world is going on? Tell me what's going on. And I will tell you that there will be an anti-war movement that will be enormous in this country. And it will not come from the liberals or the progressives because they're liars. They're unreliable phonies. They only hate a war that's conducted in America's uh, national interests. But any war that's conducted by a Democrat, for reasons that they don't even understand, they will support blindly. That's what I think is going on. And I believe that part of the reason Obama's ratings are in the toilet is because his own base knows this. Savage.